with a scale factor, the scale factor is referring to the ratio of the corresponding sides of two similar figures. We've kind of already looked at the scale factor already. Well, here we want to find the scale factor and the lengths of the missing sides for the figures on your screen. We want to first find corresponding sides And the two corresponding sides that we have values for both are the 10 and 15. Thus, we know we have a scale factor of 1.5, or we can write it as 3 halves. Because if we multiply 10 by 3 halves, or 10 by 1.5, we get 15. Our scale factor is 1.5. This means to go from the smaller figure to the bigger, we want to multiply by 1.5. And then to go backwards, to go from the bigger figure to the smaller, we want to divide by 1.5. Well, we have all the numbers for the bigger figure, so let's go back to the smaller. 18 divided by 1.5 is going to be 12. 15 divided by 1.5 again is 10. 12 divided by 1.5 will give us 8. And 9 divided by 1.5 gives us 6. Thus we have 12, 10, 6, 8, 10 which corresponds to 8, 15, 9, 12, 15. We can double check. We know that 12 over 18, our blue sides, is equal to 10 over 15, which is equal to 9 over 6, or 6 over 9, which is equal to 8 over 12, which is equal to 10 over 15, all of which is equal to 2 thirds. So every one of these fractions reduces to two-thirds, and that's how we check to make sure that our sides are proportional. They're in a constant ratio. Here's some more notes about that constant ratio. If we have two similar figures, then the perimeter of the two figures is also in a constant ratio, and it's in that same constant ratio. So these two figures, if we add up the perimeters, so we can go ahead, take a calculator, we find that 10 plus 12 plus 6 plus 10 plus 8 is 46. So that's our perimeter. We then also want to add up the sides of our other figure. We get 69 for the perimeter. We see that 46 to 69 is, in fact, going to be a two-thirds ratio. It's that same constant ratio. Also, if we have two similar figures, then the corresponding special segments of the figures is also in a constant ratio. Special segments can include the altitude, median, and the mid-segment. So all those special segments we talked about in the last chapter those should also be in a constant ratio.